everyone and welcome back to another episode of our student athlete interview series. My name's Katie. I'm an intern here at Sports Find this summer. Um, our student athlete interview series is just a series where we interview different college athletes at all levels to get inside information about what their days are like, what their recruiting process is like, etc. Our guest today is Julia Mortimer. She's a rising sophomore sophomore who plays outfield for the um, softball team at the University of Pennsylvania. Hi, Julia. How are you? Hi, Katie. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for coming on. Of course. Um, okay, so we'll just go right into it. Um Tell us a little bit about when you started playing softball and, like, why you started playing softball. Um, I started playing softball when I was, like, five, I think. I was kind of, like, I played, like, all the sports, soccer, basketball, swim. It was just kind of, like, I wanted to try everything to figure out what I liked. And then that was kind of the one that stuck. So I played basketball and softball until like, eight, then I quit and just wanted to, like, focus on softball. Yeah, for sure. So did you have any role models or favorite players growing up, especially since you started at age five? You had a lot of people to look up to. So who were some of those people and like what were some of the qualities that they had? Um, both of my parents went to college at UCLA. So I always was like a really big fan of UCLA softball. And they had a center fielder for a while named Alexa Clement, who was like crazy energetic, just a really, really good like all around team player. And so I always kind of looked up to her and then she ended up coaching at a high school in my league. So then I got to like play against her and meet her, which was really cool. And she was just like a really, really cool player, really energetic, gave 100% all the time. So that was someone I kind of always looked up to. That's awesome. So when did you know that you wanted to play in college? I think when, probably like when I got to middle school and started playing travel ball and I was like hearing about all these girls that were committing and just kind of like the more, the longer I played, the more I realized how much I loved it. And then at that point it was like, this is something that could help me in the future. And like, this is something that could take me to a really good school. And at that point I was kind of like, yeah, I want to go all in on this and really make an effort to play in college. Yeah, for sure. So everybody's recruiting process is a little different, but what was your recruiting process, recruiting process like specifically at Penn? Um, mine was a little bit early. I would say I committed the summer after my freshman year and I had a camp at my high school with a lot of like high academic school coaches and um, I met Coach Gonzalez there and then I flew to Penn, went to a camp there and I fell in love with the school like instantly. I loved the location and then um, I had a tournament in Colorado and they came to watch and then um, I committed like a couple of weeks later. So it was probably like a month. It was really quick, but I just kind of knew instantly once I met the coaches and met the team and was on campus that, that was the place I would really want to be. Yeah so you, you just touched on it a little but what made you choose Penn as opposed to like the other colleges that you were looking at? Um, I was still like really young and I didn't know like exactly what I wanted I was kind of like I didn't have a dream school I was kind of open to anything but I knew I wanted to be a business major so having Wharton was like a really big draw and I grew up like not really in a city. So being in Philadelphia was really exciting for me. And just like the mentality of the team, it's very like work hard when you're there, but like the, the team is so close knit, which I really was looking for. I wanted some like t a team that I was gonna be really good friends with. Overall, like the culture on the team was just like really exciting to me. It seemed like it would be a place that I would fit in really. Awesome. So what was, after having your freshman year, what was the biggest change from high school to college um, both academically and athletically on the field? I would say it's kind of the same on and off the field. It's more about like self accountability. Like no one's going to hold your hand. Like in high school, you have coaches that are more like teaching you and like really involved and the pen coaches are super involved, but everyone kind of has this like notion that you will, it, like, if you want to do well, like you work hard yourself and like you put in the work and it's not like, I don't know. It's just a lot more like you have to do it like the coaches are going to be there and they're going to support you like 100 percent. but like if you want to play you have to work hard on your own too and I would say the same in the classroom like there's a hundred kids in your class classroom not going to hold your hand it's like you have to put in the work you have to study on your own time and I would just say you have a lot more free time so it's like about balancing that and I would say that was probably the biggest change from high school to college yeah so 
that was actually a good transition to our next question. How did you balance academics and sports at a whole new level? Um, once you, after your freshman year, like looking back at it, what was like some tips you had on how to balance or some things that you think you could have done better, just that kind of thing, focusing on the balance between those two things? I would say it was definitely interesting with all the classes being online and our like spring schedule being a lot less than it normally is. So it was kind of a lower transition, which was nice. It kind of gave me like time to get adjusted. I would say it's really just about like time management and it's helpful having to get up early for practice. Like I know I'm going to be up already. Like I might as well get my stuff done while I'm awake and then I can enjoy the rest of my day. So I would say just like planning things like after school, after practice that like you can look forward to. So you have a reason to get your stuff done. Like knowing, okay, like I want to go to dinner with one of my friends. I'm going to get my homework done now. And like knowing I have practice tomorrow and I want to go to bed early. So I would say that like structure is really helpful and just trying to uh, plan your time out well. For sure. So how did the pandemic affect you like as a freshman coming on campus like you're not really knowing anyone yet and with the pandemic there weren't as many opportunities to meet people so how did that affect you specifically? Yeah it was definitely uh, a challenge I would say we were and was online for the semester so I ended up living in Philadelphia with in a house with the team and I had never met any of them before one other freshman and um, we just lived in the house and met the team and it was definitely really fun to get to know them but obviously with a class in person it's hard to make friends but I would say a lot of it just like became online like even on zoom like people chat with you and then you have like social media which helped but I would say it was definitely difficult to meet people especially trying to be like COVID safe because we wanted to play games but the team did a really good job of like getting close with like each other I think we had we bonded a lot this as our opportunities were so limited to other people. So I think it actually ended up benefiting us because now we're like a close-knit team. Yeah. Okay, so moving into your overall life as an athlete, what would you say your greatest accomplishment is? I would say just getting to play in college. Like that was one thing that I had worked for for a really long time. And when like I committed really early, so like it's not 100% because things can change, coaches can change, like you never really know what's going to happen. But then once I actually got to Penn and then I played in my first game, I would say that was like my biggest accomplishment, just like getting on the field in a college uniform, sending like a team I'm really passionate about. I would say that was probably my like biggest accomplishment so far. Six. Awesome. And then lastly, to wrap up, do you have any advice for student athletes that would like to play at the collegiate level or maybe going through the process? Like what are some tips you have for them? Um, I would just say throughout the recruiting process, it kind of sounds like a cliche, but attitude is like really everything. The, like the last game, the Penn coaches saw me playing. I did not perform well at all. I was like super, super nervous and you could tell in the way I was playing, but I was focused on like being a good teammate and being like supportive on the field. And that was something they saw. Like, I would just say when you're on the field at school or when you're in a travel game, just like being high energy, trying to keep a positive attitude all the time. Even if you're not playing well, one of your teammates probably is, so supporting them. And coaches will notice that and they'll pick up on it and just you just put in the work and if you do eventually it's out for you and just try to stay positive the whole time it's a hard process but you'll get there awesome well thank you so much again for coming on of course thank you katie have a good rest of your day thank you